Rashad Hudson joins us live with more. Good morning, Rashad. Good morning, Raina. President Biden will meet later today once again with the lead Republican negotiator on infrastructure. This is the second time they've met this week, and pressure is growing to get a, done, get a deal done soon. A historic investment in infrastructure, modernizing our nation's infrastructure, becoming more competitive around the world. President Biden is proposing a 15 minimum tax on corporations as a possible compromise to pay for his infrastructure plan. He's proposed ways to pay for it, right? Others have not exactly done the same. But lead Republican negotiator West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito says there are ways to pay for the GOP plan. Highway trust fund, repurposing COVID dollars, a financing structure to bring more private investment in, user fees. Thursday, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg took the administration's pitch for infrastructure on the road to Tennessee. We have 45,000 bridges in poor condition in this country, and Americans cross those bridges 178 million times every single day. America has fallen out of the top 10 in infrastructure. Buttigieg has played a key role in talks with Republicans to compromise on a price tag. Conversations in good faith are continuing. Uh, we are eager to make sure those conversations get every opportunity to succeed. But the president's also said inaction is not an option. Later today, President Biden will deliver remarks on the latest jobs report and the economy. We can also expect him to make another push for his infrastructure plan. Reporting live in Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you. Thank you for that report, Rashad.